Race five at Sha Tin on Sunday is the Mong Kok Handicap, and it is over the 1,400 metres. Class four is the class of the race, and we have got Lariz, the two, up two pounds for that second behind Ka Ying. Excellent last start. That was his first placing at Sha Tin. Party Genius, the five, has been supported in both starts, starting 2.7 and at eight. Races on the speed, Zach takes the ride. Ready Conqueror, the seven, best draw in three starts. Eight Regency Master, kept on when fifth behind Carefree Prince. That was his best performance. The 10 stunning impact has the blinkers on. 12 leading fortune, never went round a horse when fifth to a breeze of spring and the two at the bottom. Last start winner, smiling success, led and one from 13, beating win win 33. And Iron King doing his best late with that close fourth behind Carefree Prince. Circuit Hasler, another horse that's always got support when he races. Bulletproof the six and smiling success have been at Chungfa. Fair bit of pace in this race with Happy Force, who didn't go forward last time out, and there was a query over the tactics there on Happy Force. Sir Landy's dropping in grade here this time round. Laura's was also uh, handy last time out, that was only back on the, the fifth. Uh, smiling success is another pace influence, but he'll probably defer the likely. Uh, to do that as well as Hinion Swiftness and Moon Peaks. Then you've got Party Genius who's going to settle back and leading Fortune, but quite a bit of pace up front. First horse we're going to have a look at here is Bulletproof. We saw that trial when he had that red cap earlier on one of the earlier races. And uh, look, he's working pretty well up here in Chungfa. He's the one on the far side in the blue saddlecloth. He's showing a bit in the morning. He just hasn't shown on race day. He's by dissident. So I just wonder if he needs further in time. Uh, does uh, Bulletproof, this is Spicy Grill. He goes nicely enough as well. He's only had limited starts as well, just the three. And uh, one of them hasn't been too bad. His middle start behind Internal Harvest, so he's getting there. And uh, Leading Fortune, another horse that we haven't seen too much of, Leading Fortune, just the six starts from him. And his best run was probably his last start when he ran fifth behind Breezer Spring. So another one who's improving all the time. Wears those green colours and came right up the rail, did uh, Leading Fortune in that race. Here's Lariz leading far home. He's able to hold them all off here, except Ka Ying Excellent. Yeah, so we'll be up on the pace here again, but it's likely to get a little bit of pressure from the, the likes of uh, Happy Force, uh, who's going to be up there, and you could potentially add in Smiling Success, who's led in his last five runs and has been able to win. So there's some pressure here he's going to uh, cop. For that reason, and Gate 14, I left him out. Yeah, he's going to get across here. Look, I, I th always thought he was a um, Happy Valley... Uh, Happy Valley horse, but I like the way he fought back here at Charlton. Look, I found a spot for him. Uh, Larissa. Minor line. line. Minor line. Yeah. Plenty come out of race number 512, including Circuit Hasler, who's in the market again at 7.4. Party Genius, Stunning Impact, Moon Peaks in the yellow, and Hinion Swiftness, who uh, fades in the last bit. I'd yeah. say Circuit Hasler is probably the most fittest horse here in Hong Kong. He gallops twice a week um, up in Chung Fa all the time. He's been a lot of time up there. He's now coming back uh, here to Hong Kong, so uh, he'll be fit. Uh, Party Genius only had the limited starts and stunning impact blinkers on the first time. Yeah, Circuit Hasler having his 10th start for the season. He's always there or thereabouts, but uh, doesn't win overly often, just the one win. I'd be certainly taking Party Genius with uh, Zach going on. A little bit of a wide store, knocked up late uh, last time out, so thought he was worth a look. And maybe even stunning impact, didn't mind the recent uh, uh, effort uh, from him. Uh, blinkers going on interests me a little bit as well. Joe Marira takes the ride on leading fortune. This is the fifth behind Breeze of Spring. Never goes around a horse, comes right up the rail. Yeah, I made him a horse to follow on this occasion too, did to leading fortune in the market uh, for this assignment at 3.3. Tad slow off the inside, but like the way he got home along the fence there. Only beaten one and three quarters behind uh, Breeze of Spring, but he's got form behind Mighty Giant, Sunshine Warrior, Eternal Harvest, who are all, uh, I think, decent yardsticks. Yeah, I think he's a really good chance. I think he's a horse who's definitely improving, so he's definitely in, in the numbers for me. Yeah, just like the way he finished off. Yeah, the it was good, good. Iron King has had another start since this race. He ran fourth when he got trapped wide and drifted back, and he ran on. This is the second, and the second was behind Fantastic Show. He looks to be getting close to a win. Yeah, I've got him in. I think uh, he's going pretty well at the moment. Iron King, he comes in with a really light weight. He's on a rating of 42, so he is getting towards a downgrade. But we know Fantastic Show is going really well at the moment, so it's a good form race to come out of. Yeah, he was there, right to challenge over the, the final stages. So just wanted to lay out a little bit uh, there as well. I thought maybe just close to the class drop, they might be aiming for that, so I decided to leave him out. Fantastic show lines up in race number 10. Paul, your selections for the fifth. A lot of my selections I've had uh, is horses that have been downgraded, and here's another one, Happy Force. He's come from class three into class four. He's had a nice, quiet trial leading to this. He's won off a higher rating before. 
He's drawn wide. Now, he's drawn 13. I think he can come across along with Lariz. The two of them have drawn wide. So I think those two will come across easy enough. And as such, I think it could be a, um, a, a sort of a pace-dominated race with those two. So they're both in my numbers. But Happy Force on top. Leading fortune is the improver, Lariz, as I mentioned, and Iron King. One, twelve, two, and 14. Happy to go each way the one. I think we'll get a decent price off him. Uh, sticking with leading fortune here, who made good ground along the rail last time out, keeps on improving and uh, riding here is Joe Marrera for John's size. So 12 uh, on top to beat five, party genius. He went round 2.7 favourite first up on the all-weather, failed there last time out, beaten two links at uh, 7 to 1. Zach jumps on board this time round. Circuit has the, he'll be there. Thought stunning impacts run wasn't bad last time out, well back, but did make some ground over the final stages. Only beaten three and a half behind Tungwa Glory and the blinkers are going on. So 12 Five, three, and ten. Race number five is the first leg of a triple trio as well.